the most precious entity, the most valuable entity on this planet of ours is life. Nothing ever has more worth than life. And that being the case, you would expect for the mass destruction of life to be a big no-no. But it's not. It's a big yes-yes. You look around, uh, terror, blood, death, and all of it for what? Uh, another medal, an extra buck, uh, an extra gram of lithium, another square kilometer of land. Um, it's just sad because the whole of my conscious life has been filled with the noise of war. And I guess I'm lucky. Uh, others weren't so lucky or are not so lucky in that that sound was always far away. Yet, as things are, war is over there and we feel some of its effects over here. Even crazier, I think, is this continuous violence, you know, begetting more violence has jazzed our minds up to the point where we now believe, where now many of us are now very convinced that the solution to war is more war, though featuring our newest and greatest killing machines. It's almost as if war is what humans do. And I suppose you just have to live with that because that's the world we have. This may not be the world many of us want, but this is the world we have. And in coming to terms with this, I find being a storyteller helps because what happens is it becomes quite easy to push my personal anxieties away to one side and set off on this journey of curiosity as I try to find out, okay, why does this happen? Why is the world this way? And so on and so forth. So in Now I Am Here, the journey I took is a journey to show one of the ways in which a very reasonable, ordinary human being like you or I can allow themselves to be led down an increasingly dark path.